It's been brought to my attention that a lot of you have zero sense of humor. And to be fair, I'm talking to the middle-aged men on social media who don't belong here because you get so offended over the smallest things. And I get it. A lot of you can't get it up anymore. And you forgot how to laugh. Because for anybody that knows me or has been following Adobe Moto for a long time, you know how much I love the Suzuki Jixer. In fact, I love it so much, I finally bought one. This video is dedicated to my aunt, Noni. It's her birthday today. It's her first birthday in heaven. The doctor finally cleared me of my kidney stones. Actually, it's more like he laughed at me. He said it was a tiny kidney stone and there was nothing to be concerned about. He looked at me like, was this your first kidney stone? And I was like, yeah. He's like, you're good, man. Your full panel's excellent. And I asked him about supplements and he said, you're fine. So, cheers. Just got back from the gym. Uh, check this out. Pastries, <laughs> yeah, apples, bananas, grapes, flowers. Happy birthday. It's my aunt's birthday. This one. Sadly, she passed away. You guys have been following me for a little while. Cancer's a bitch. She was just overall just a really awesome human being. And she loved me and, and my family to death. Yesterday was my wife's birthday. The 27th is my aunt's birthday like their birthdays are kind of together and my wife would call my aunt and then my aunt would call my wife that's just how christmas was for us so oh, very very difficult day happy, happy birthday night i love you so much i love you have to know love you there we go have fun in heaven you never had this bread melda Oh, eat this all the time. Melda, it's good, so Melda. Good. It's, it's so good. good bread. Try it, Melda. Try it. Try it. Put it in your mouth. Right. Okay, Anthony. Here. <laughs> See? We're See? at my aunt's favorite place. And then she's gonna... Olive Garden. And then she's gonna... Yeah. Pick mess. out all of them. She'll mess with the pick bread. Pick out all of them. <laughs> Very good bread. <laughs> oh, so, so good. good. So, so good. So good. So you want more? Bite and that's Let's it. get some more. <laughs> I sit there. Don't I don't pick up my phone all the time. Like I'm so excited and I was like Fuck. Today is haircut day. Obviously you guys could tell my hair looks stupid as fudge It's also the day we uh, go back to stock sprocket size. Let's go So if you've been following along on the R6 build, you know I accidentally put on a 48 tooth sprocket on the bike. For a bike with a stock tune, plus three sprocket in the back is actually a pretty good idea. But that sprocket combined with this aggressive tune, in my opinion, makes this bike way too torquey down low. Yo, what the hell? They sent me the wrong one. Wow. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, that was a complete jigsaw move. Next time you guys buy sprockets, make sure that the sprocket actually fits. Wow. But all is not lost. I do have this 44 tooth from my track bike. It's one less than stock. And since I already got the rear wheel off, let's just try it. People are always amazed by this trick that I came up with with a socket. I've been doing it this way for years because I know how difficult it is to get the rear wheel back on. Doing this has saved me so much time. Now I can push the wheel pin in and the socket just pops right out. Okay, so here's the first major issue. <laughs> Okay, I don't know if you guys could tell, but the wheelbase is definitely longer now. Which is kind of nice, because you guys know I went with a 160 rear, which made the bike taller, shortening the rake in the front, ultimately shortening the wheelbase. As you can see, I'm all the way at the edge of that chain adjuster. A little bit more slack than I would like, but I think it'll be fine. Let's go ahead and go test ride. All right, immediately. Now, 
same shit. <laughs> Still super aggressive, but I guess it's more manageable. Now my speedo is like way off. I mean, I don't know, to be honest. It's gotta be off a little bit. I had Superbike and Nimbly to tune it for my uh, plus three, because I thought I was gonna keep that. Definitely much more manageable, actually, now that I think about it. It was way better down low. This is first gear. I can mob around in first gear again. Oh my god. That feels great. It's not supposed to be that cold today, so we'll see. Oh yeah, I like this gearing much better. I don't know why I thought the roads were going to be not so wet, but it is what it is. Yeah, I like the 44. I think 45, like 45 would have been great, but this 44 is fine. It's not bad. I don't know if it's just me or if it's in my head, but I feel like I'm riding around with an extended swing arm because I pushed the freaking rear wheel as far back as I could with that chain. I know you guys are excited about the new bike, but I gotta get a haircut first. All right, let's uh, let's feel this bike out, man. Wow, there's a lot of traffic right now. Holy cannoli. I don't know if I'm gonna to pass these holes, man. Bike feels good, it feels stable. Like I said, it, it feels like I have an extended swing arm. I extended the uh, wheelbase, so it feels a lot more stable. Obviously, it feels less flickable, but I think we're at a perfect compromise. Man, that power band right in the, the upper mid, between eight and 10,000 RPM, it's, it's gnarly, dude. Woo. Ah, oh, shit. We'll see if we can even get in. I don't know. First gear. Okay, we'll get right in here, bro. Woo! I love motorcycles. <laughs> when it's traffic, you can just squeeze in anywhere, bro. Man, thoroughly enjoying this bike. I love it. Oh, I downshifted on accident. Woo, it's good thing I didn't hold that throttle down, bro. <laughs> oh my god. This bike is amazing. I freaking love it. Woo! Oh, mother suckers. Oh god, bro. Oh god. My wife said I gotta stop talking like an old man. <laughs> I'm God, bro. That is a new, that's a new word, bro. Ah, uh, I gotta go get some gasoliners. I wanna stop at a gas station where I can get off, fill up, and get the heck back on. The light did just come on. I don't know how far this goes, to be honest. We'll see. Let's go. Perfect. There's a Chevron over yonder. <laughs> oh, Mazda Speed, man. That is such a cool car. It's a Miata. Mazda Speed Turbo. I love that car, dude. Look, it's an old guy, too. I should buy it from him, bro. I should just follow him, dude. I bet that car's been well taken care of, man. I'm a Mazda Speed fan. I used to own a Mazda Speed 6, and uh, I'm also a fan of the Miata. Mazda Speeds. Okay, I don't know what gear I'm in, bro. Oh, my God. Look at this fucking asshole. Oh, you cunt. <laughs> oh my. 517. 519. The cost of bike life. Oh, I don't even need the key. <laughs> Suckers. $20.34. Woo-wee. Back on the way of the high. Woo. Oh, still very sketched in the wet. But now it's dry! <laughs> Let's go, bro! On God! Fam! Carpool! On God! <laughs> Let's go! God, I love this bike! Oh my goodness, great hoes! What in the holy cannoli is- I mean, on God is this? Wow, bro! Why is there traffic right now? Always traffic in this area because of the construction! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Woo! <laughs> that was fun! <laughs> Yay to the frickin' hee-haw! <laughs> it looks cold, but considering the weather we've had, 54 high today, 
it's actually nice and nice and cozy. You know what I'm saying? It ain't warm. Oh, oh, please don't pull out in front of me. Thank you. I always get so weary with like people pulling out. This is why I hate riding like in the middle. Center lanes, dumb, don't do it. Pick one or the other. You know what I'm saying? The only time I use the center lanes is to uh, get from one edge of the lane to the other edge of the lane. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean. Let's go. On God. Did we or did we not make it on time? That's the question because I don't have the uh, correct time on my on my bike clock. <laughs> it says nine. Is there a spot nearby? It might just be this one. That's the short people thing. <laughs> Let's see if we uh, if we made it. What time is it? Oh, we're hella late. Oh, what's up, bro? Oh, shit, bro. Oh, my God. Look at that. Bro, that is sexy, bro. Look at this. Samir, man. Yeah. No, yeah, both, bro. Both, bro. Look at you, bro. My God, fam. You know what it is. Every single time, bro. There's no reason for me to go anywhere else. Yes. Okay, I'm waiting for my uh, Nitro brew. Interesting revelation, the Jigster 750 that I was supposed to buy today is not gonna happen today. I'm gonna have to go all the way over there to pick it up because I don't know, the guy messed up his GPS or something, but he said he was gonna knock off 500 bucks. That means I'll get a 2007 Jigster 750 for 4,500 bucks. I don't wanna drive all the way down there, so I'm gonna see if, see if Red, Red will wanna do it. The other good news is, oh God. I spilled it. Oh my god, I spilled it. I'm so sorry. I totally spilled my coffee. I'm gonna get. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to clean this up. <laughs> Not with these tissues. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna have to leave this for somebody else. Okay, I let the uh, Starbucks employees know and they're gonna call somebody from. It's not even in. It's not even in a walkable area anyway. It's like right, right there in the middle. Nobody's walking through it. It's slipping. I'm just gonna leave it. <laughs> We left the scene of the crime. I'm trying to decide if I want to drive four hours to go pick up this Jigster 750. It's a good deal. It's a 2007 with 14,000 miles. It looks to be all stock except for a sprocket change. If I drive all the way there tonight, it's going to be like an eight hour round trip. Oh, I hate, I just hate driving that long. Look at this beauty though. Oh my cannoli, gee whiz, hazoli. Let's get a cold start. Maybe. Yes. Me in? Yes, we are. Oh, that! <laughs> that looks fun! <laughs> Wanna race? Yeah! <laughs> On God, fam. Look at that. Woo. Sexy ass freaking bike, bro. With no halo headlight BS. I really wanted that Jigster 750. We'll see. We shall see. <laughs> it's wet. My tires are cold. I'm on super Corsa. I'm not trying to high side today, Jimmy. Okay. Ooh, we can get a little pull going. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Not as fast as ours before, but that wasn't even full throttle. It was like quarter. Man, this bike just it rides like a dream, guys. Let's go, bro. Woo! All right, I, I just got home. I took a little back road cut. There's these cars that I'm always seeing. Are either of these for sale? Yeah, the Honda and the, the Integra. I see it all the time. I live right here. Are you gonna work on it? You look like a mechanic, bro. Can I give you my number? <laughs> what, are you, what are you gonna do with it, man? It's collecting moss, bro. Cool guy, that car is always there. He got it for 100 bucks. Shoot, I'll buy that. I'll pay him 500 a piece. Thousand bucks for both. I think that's a good deal. It's been sitting there for four years. Why not? All right, she's back home. Look how beautiful she looks my golly gee let's see how uh how well this little oh it's held up it has held up i don't know if you guys remember i put in like a self-tapping screw in there and 
a lot of you guys said it wouldn't hold up. It's been fine. The 44 tooth, it feels like it picks up slower than you would want. So I went up three and then I took away four. It feels like it picks up slower, so I'm guessing maybe 46, but I'm not sure. Also, I'm not sure if I want to go pick up that Jigsaw. It's, it's a four hour trip, eight hour round trip, but he's knocking off 500 bucks, which would make it 4,500. Oh, it, it's like, it's like a too good of a deal to pass up, but I just don't want to be in a truck for eight hours. Man, my mom came through again with the food! Mongo is my favorite, one of my favorites ever. I did, bro. I just said, on God, on That's the only one I could remember. And then my wife said to start saying, um, for the plot or something like that. So this one is for the plot. Say what's up to YouTube, fam. Oh, got, oh my God, burnt longanisa, hell yeah. <laughs> I thought you forgot about it. Babe. You like it, Brian? I thought you forgot about it. <sighs> okay, guys, do you guys want to know how cheap my freaking mom is, bro? She is <laughs> cheap as fudge, okay? Tell them, mom. Tell them, tell them how cheap hey, you look. are. Look, all right, look. Green pan. Huh? How much? $10.99. Company got, called Green Pan? Yes. Is it a good brand? Yes. Stainless steel. How, how much? much? And then did I Damn! <laughs> then tell them the story of how like so no, it's already, yes, oh, was it, it was like a Goodwill, right? Yeah, trip store. Okay, thrift store, okay. <laughs> I look, I was like, no scratch. I went to the counter, I said, hey, is this 50% off? It's like, why is it like orange? Yeah. It's like where are you from? I'm from UK. <laughs> <laughs> the cash is from UK, me. I told him, I said, do you ride motorcycle? <laughs> I love to ride motorcycle. I don't have motorcycle right now. I said, my son is on TikTok. <laughs> he teach people how to fix motorcycles, so when you get your motorcycle, you can watch my son. Can you give me 50% off on this? <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? He said, oh, okay, it's still very nice. You can have it for $5. Hell yeah, <laughs> mom. That's how. $5. That is how cheap my mom is. She got a discount Good. on a discounted product Good. at Stainless Goodwill, steel. bro. Stainless. Stainless steel back for five bucks. Only Filipinos be trying to get extra discounts <laughs> at Goodwill, bro. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, guys, it is seven in the morning. Let's go pick up the Jixer. Another foggy morning in Washington State. It's not too bad actually, but whew, am I tired? I hate driving. <laughs> I really do. But this Jigster 750 is like the best deal I could find within 500 miles. So I don't know. It, it, it's worth it, man. I'm picking this bike up for less than I picked up my R6. Not the last R6, but my R6. Let's go. Driving. What's up, bro? Not much. Garth? Yes, sir. Nice to meet you, dude. This is it. Woo! So clean, man. How long have you owned it? Uh, a couple years. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, man. That's the cheapest one I've seen. And uh, you know what's funny? This is the bike that got me into bikes. I, 750. I started on a CBR 600 in Kansas. And then no I got back here and actually traded my Supermoto DRZ for this one. Oh, no kidding. Wow, you got a good deal. Did yeah. you add cash, though? Uh, I added a thousand bucks. Nice, dude. It's a great deal, man. Fourteen thousand miles. But you said you, the sprocket was changed. Yeah, it, it was already lowered when I got it. Oh, it's lowered too. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to unlower it. Oh my god. Are you sure? It doesn't look lowered. That looks, that looks I, like. I a... mean, maybe not. The speedo is way off, though. Oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry. The sprocket. Yeah, the sprocket's been. Lowered. Oh, okay. Okay, I thought you meant the. No, no. The suspension was lowered. It's been sitting, huh? Yeah, it's been sitting in the garage since uh, October. No kidding, bro. Why don't you ride it? Well, one, I needed a tire, and two, health reasons. Yeah. I'm a sn I'm a snowmobiler, so the I saw your your profile pictures. Yeah. The adrenaline rush is different. Okay. And snowmobiling is like your passion. Yep. It's okay. uh. I it's thought it was like a business for you or something. Uh, it is both. Okay. But that's kind of where my passion's at. You know, I mean, to get the same rush for me is 120 plus. <laughs> And uh, on a sled, you know, you got you got trees, you got angles, you got. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, I mean, I'll probably have another one eventually, but got some other things coming up. Need nice. to finish my shop, so. Nice. Man. We gotta back it up because this trailer's hella tall. 
around first. Yeah, because I'm running out of room. Okay. You're going to move it forward? You're going to move forward? Yep, I'm have to move it forward. Sliding, the ramp's sliding. Okay, go ahead, see what you do. Let it go. I can uh, get a strap. I was gonna do that and I forgot. That wasn't actually that bad. <laughs> that was not that bad. Oh, yeah. Ah, I bought his dream bike. Sorry, bro. You'll get another one. you get another one, man. Garth, thank you for the support. He actually watches the, watches channel. the channel. Yeah, thank you, bro. Yep. Take Have care of yourself. One. Enjoy it. All right. Do you, what's your, do you have a social media for that? Uh, yeah, it's like uh, Garth Neal's Adventures or the Neal's Adventures, something like that. I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to find you, bro. I'm going to tag you right here. <laughs> It's been brought to my attention that a lot of you have zero sense of humor. And to be fair, I'm talking to the middle-aged men on social media who don't belong here because you get so offended over the smallest things. And I get it. A lot of you can't get it up anymore. And you forgot how to laugh. Because for anybody that knows me or has been following Adobo Moto for a long time, you know how much I love the Suzuki Jixxer. In fact, I love it so much, I finally bought one. This is my 2007 Suzuki GSX-R 750. As far as I can tell, it is 100% bone stock. That has these three cutouts that look like shark gills that matches the heel guard. Suzuki is one of the most feared race teams in the world. I personally have owned a total of six Jigsers in my life, five Jigsers 1000s, and one Jigsers 600 that I bought for my wife because I thought she wanted to start riding, but in fact, she hates motorcycles. But I've actually never owned a Jigsers 750 until now. So unfortunately, even though this bike runs and it starts and it rides I'm not gonna ride it because clearly the tires are horrendous it's showing wire this foot peg is crooked clearly it was either tipped over yeah so that's a sign of a tip over on the right side the left side looks like it did also tip over or go down a little bit you can see right here on the stator cover, as well as a little bit here on the front fairing. Up close, it is absolutely filthy, bro. If you were to think about buying a Jigsaw from a Jigsaw owner, this is the perfect example. It looks like it's possibly been left outside, or it just came from a ride and the owner just neglected to clean it after. Other than that, these fairings are OEM. I think they called this the Midnight Blue back in the day. Okay, enough of the bullshit. Let's get a cold start. Mom! Do you want to see the Jigsaw? Yeah. My mom loves Jigsaws apparently. Hey! Jigsarky! <laughs> yes. Go ahead and turn it on. This one you have to hold the clutch in. Ready? Yeah. Oh yeah. Whoa! Hey! Jigsaw queen! Jigsaw queen! <laughs> uh, You're an idiot! I could be in a Jigsaw queen. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Jigsaw queen! 
Okay, get the fuck off. <laughs> okay, here's the minute details that you guys probably want to hear. Why did I buy a Jigster? Well, again, I've never owned a Jigster 750. And to make a long story short, the Jigster 750, this exact one, is the one I used to drool over when I would go to the dealership with my friends to go look at motorcycles. Motorcycles that I thought I would own one day. And out of all the motorcycles that I've owned, this bike was my first dream bike, and I never got a chance to own it. So now, I fucking own it. <laughs> 